Hello guys, um, we are uh, back in the X-Universe, and um, to my great surprise, it seems that the uh, Kenteran government gifted us a, uh, a mining ship, just out of the kindness of their hearts, and it's uh, it, it fully, fully uh, uh, crude and fully, yeah, it's, it's wonderful, it's a wonderful ship. It, very nice of them to do that. I never expected the Kenteran government to do that. It's totally not cheated in at all. So let's select our totally not cheated in uh, ship, uh, give it a new superior through a list, and we're gonna choose the integrative URV forge. And we got no options. That means we have forgotten to assign a manager and a defense officer. So we're gonna rectify that mistake. So we're gonna get in here. Oh, by the way, I did cheat in this ship. But what you can do if you discover the same problem as I did, if the shipyard over here does not have the drones you need for the ship to be able to mine, it's the surface miner drones, you need those to, to be able to harvest resources. You can do some missions here in the breeze, get some money, and uh, get your ass back to Albion uh, and uh, Far Out. And Heart of Albion, the faction, will have a shipyard here. You can see it here. That's the shipyard. And you can buy a ship from them. They usually have pretty, uh, pretty nice, uh, a pretty nice selection of, of wares. It seems I have forgotten to install the no, no fuel for player ships mod, which might be a problem, or might not. I think I'm gonna install it after this episode. So yeah, let's get ourselves uh, a manager. So what you do, you go into crew for station manager and you uh, go through the list. This one's good. And we want the same for our defense officer. You're good as well, wonderful. And I'm gonna show you a nifty little mod I have that I don't think I have shown you yet. My people are coming into bay. And... So, this is a mod. You go into here and open comm link. And I want to contact my captain because I want to fire her. Okay. Wonderful. And now let's contact our manager. I want you to work on the integrative URV forge, and I want to contact the defense officer and also have uh, him work at the uh, integrative URV forge. Now, let's contact our ship, assign a new superior, and select the integrative URV forge. Now we should have options. We do not. That means we need to do it again, because <laughs> they're, uh, they didn't get the memo. There, trade for production. This is what we want. Now, don't be confused with the trade thing. It's gain, a more correct term would be get materials for production. And since it's a mining ship, it won't trade, it will mine. So we're gonna select that, and it should be free mining. You can see the order here, and it's calculating the parameters. So that means it's figuring out where the necessary materials are. And it's gathering at Crimson Rock, which is a another sim, uh, system here in Molten Arkham. Um, Crimson Rock. No, no, it's here. So here. It's going to mine here. In Crimson Rock. Which is fine by me. It's going to take some more time to get there. And we're going to need some fuel, which they sell here, but it, they don't produce fuel. I'm I'm gonna have to install that mod. Yeah, I'm gonna have to install the no no fuel mod. Sorry, it's just the way it's gonna have to be. So, uh, what was I supposed to do now? I'm supposed to do the the trading mission. No, the mining mission for uh, Nakano. 
So, we're gonna do that this episode. Also, since our Tyrannus just finished refueling, I am hoping it will be able to join us on that mission because, spoiler alert, there will be a Plutarch Mining Corporation capital ship jumping in. It will be a weak capital ship. We can destroy it if we really, really, really want to and not using any cheats at all. Um, but we can destroy it. Um, so, but I'm hoping that we have the Tyrannus to help us. And here's the favorite ship. This is my favorite ship in the whole game. It's the Zekelis. It's horribly outdated. It's slow, it's not as bulky and durable as the Tyrannus, or especially not the Iran. But it's, it looks so cool. And, because of a mod, it's uh, actually more functional than in the base game. Because if you see here, you see it's kind of an unusual nose design. Well, that nose is actually a huge cannon. It's pretty big. But in the base game, they don't really use that cannon. It's in the coincidence if they are lined up with the target, it will fire. But they won't line it up. Which is weird, because it's the most damaging gun in the whole game, I think. Um, but the mod fixes that, so it's, it's pretty functional if you have a lot of them. So, uh, and they're pretty cheap for being XXL ships, or XL ships. So yeah, I like it. Now let's stop the chatter and actually do the mission. I'm pretty good at, you know, procrastinating, doing stuff. So, uh, we're already like, I don't know, seven minutes into the video and we haven't done shit. <laughs> but now we're gonna do shit. Now we're gonna we're gonna hear some more cring cringe for the voice acting and do the mission. Now I'm gonna sneeze very soon. I can feel it. Or not. These things are very uh, very fiddly. No things. Entering. Right. She'll be here any moment. Transmitting new coordinates to following ships. Actually, while we're here and waiting, it just jumped in. We're gonna contact Aranas. We're gonna communicate, and we're gonna assign a new superior to the here. And what this ship will do, it will actually trade uh, mostly food rations and energy cells for our station. Now, to do that, our energy, no, our station, our manager needs some money. Now, again, I have a mod, which allows me to um, link my own account to his account. Normally you have to give them money, uh, but I have a, mo uh, a mod that... Uh... Oh, there's actually a new functionality here, I haven't seen this. But I have a mod that lets him share my account. Now I'm actually gonna do some more of this. Let the local architect use your account. And there's also the option of uh, creating large complexes and have all the managers share an account but have their accounts separate from yours. Which is, it's it's nice functionality, it's really nice functionality. There she is, hailing. All right, we're hailing. <laughs> but we're, this is yeah. Captain Mariah Ryback of the mining ship Amber Excavator. Nice place you have here. Thanks, Captain. We've got some friends here to escort us on. A welcoming committee? He shouldn't have. Just making sure you get there safely. It's not a cakewalk around here. Appreciated. Lead the way. All right. First, I'll lead the scout team through the superhighway and check on the other side. Skunk, you want to come with? Sure. No point in just sitting here. Captain. You stay here with the Canteran mining ships. Mind your manners and play nice. Got it, Lieutenant. Don't mention the war, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, let's uh, check our uh, the position of our Tyrannus. You are in Cuspid Splint, which is... somewhere. <laughs> I think it's an inner world. I'm not sure, though. Might be in Ascendancy. It, it's close to the jump gate. It's on its way. Hopefully it'll, it'll get here. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Alright.
right, so we are being attacked by Reavers, which is not optimal. Small, it's the biggest one I've seen. Or we can bring in the team. Captain? Roger that, Lieutenant. On our way. So, the ship the uh, captain here is flying is called uh, Ascaldis. It's one of those universal traders I was talking about. Um, the Ascaldis, it has. It, it, it is a trading ship, but it does have um, uh, mining turrets. That makes it able to split up rocks, and it has pretty large URV storage, so it can be a functional mining ship. It's it's I think it's the most versatile ship in the game, uh, but it's very expensive, extremely expensive, and it's painfully slow. Now I have not seen this before. I have not seen this before. What are they building? What are you building? Let's see. Maybe we can discern it from the. Holy shit, I have never seen them build before. This shocks me. This really shocks me. I, I don't know what they're building. I need to know. Sorry guys, we're gonna put the mission on hold. We're gonna put the mission on hold. We're gonna see what they're building. Let's we activate Sarah. I think we got them. We see the same. I've cleared the rest of the ships to come through, and then we can continue on to the next area. Oh god damn it. We have to fly on. We're gonna come back to this. I need to see what this is. If this is an Albion station, I will I will be so happy. That would be so nice to see um, the Canterans rebuild themselves. That would be really nice actually. Because they never did. They never rebuilt themselves in the in uh, the previous versions. They were just even after Heart of Albion intervened, then oh, they will intervene. Give them tons of resources. They never rebuild. But if this kind of sets the uh, sets the stage for a Kantaran revival, I will be all for it. Well, before I decide to kill them all, but that will be later in the Let's Play. Will I really know? Uh, no, you are the host. I want you. Secured and hold. Let's see, let's take you out with a missile. We love our missiles. Is there anyone else? Not really, no. Okay, so this would be a good time to check our uh, Tyrannus. You are in, you are jumping through the jump. Field. That's good. Oh, we can get you. Come here. There we go. So secured in storage. So this is it. Yeah. No reavers in sight. We'll set up a perimeter. There's a deactivated jump gate near here. Do you have anyone guarding that thing? We had some automated warning systems, but the reavers probably scavenged them long ago. According to the latest expansion plans, we must reclaim this sector soon. At that point, we'll have eyes in all the right places. Expanding, are we? Sure are, thanks to you getting us back on our feet and Plutarch distracting the Reavers for the most part. Let's hope that gate doesn't open to a Xenon sector anytime soon. This is Ryback. We're all ready for mining ops. Ooh. Shall we begin? Affirmative. Looks like we're all ready. We'll do what we can to help. So, I really do hope that the Canterans are expanding, that the factions kind of show a bit more autonomy, have better scripting, like, um, when this game first came out, it was an, yeah, the empire building things weren't built in, and the factions, they weren't really smart or intelligent, they didn't do decision making they just existed kind of and we couldn't do anything with them really now much of that is improved but i never expected them to actually uh, fix the Kintera or debris never rebuild problem so uh, this is wonderful news or a wonderful a wonderful thing 
I think. It makes the game much more immersive. Because they're not just like placed there. They make decisions, which is very, very nice. And here you can see the mining laser. And hopefully it'll launch some uh, drones soon. There's a drone. That's one of the drones you need for mining. And the reason storage. you need them is that the drones, they go and gather the mineral that the mining laser has freed up. If you don't have drones, the ship will not collect the things. That is a reaver ship. We don't have to worry about that. Um, so we're not going to worry about that. Now, here's our Tyrannus. It should be fully repaired. It's a pretty capable warship. Uh, but it's very slow. Um, it's very slow. But actually, it's faster than the Sakellis, so we haven't even seen slow yet. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't mind the Tyrannus, but I just like the thought of big guns. Yeah, big guns are nice. So we should get a pop-up every minute that we uh, have some Plutarch Mining Corporation ships approaching, or scouts or something. Uh, that should come pretty soon. This ship usually don't get over half fill. It, it usually barely even fills up. And you can see here that the counter is going up, and that's because the miner, uh, surface miner ships, drones, are filling it up. How can we help? We have unknown ships moving through our sector. They may be Plutarch drones or scouts. They're heading your way. Can't you intercept them? We don't want... Not long at all. They're heading straight for you, as if they know exactly where they're going. What the hell could they know? We'll be caught with our pants down. Amber Excavator, prepare jump prep. Everyone else, stick close and head for the highway out of here. Not sure if we can make it in time. Governor, if they get too close, we will be forced to defend ourselves. Do what you have to, but for now, get a move on. You may keep ahead out of their sensor range. I do agree that the heart of Albion's ship should pull back. I'm sending jump coordinates. They should put you in a safe area until this is over. Understood. Lieutenant, are you sure you don't need us to fight? No. The less heart of Albion ships Plutarch finds here, the better. Okay, we'll be on standby. Good luck. So we should have some drones spawning here. In storage. I've never been able to um, to kill the drones, but uh, I think that if we're able, the capital ship won't jump in, and we won't have the unpleasant casualties report that we usually have, which would be very nice. So let's just put on Seda. I want to know the moment we can see them. There I've they are. Contacts. This is Kateran Space Security. Disengage your pursuit or we will take action. No so that should be all of them. I think they're drones. No. Just sent to scout with no risk. <sighs> data Seems we can't the stop the... We um... have to shut them down. Already shut them down, bitch. Ren, a Plutarch cap ship just jumped in. It's firing oh, there on is. the mining ships. Attack it, attack it, we'll attack try it. And disable the engines and weapons. Try Come and on, give me the option to attack it. Come on. Let me attack it. There we go. Let's uh, let's go for the inertial hammer. We're gonna destroy this capital ship. So let's uh, change to our particle repeater, let's kill his engines first, make it immobile, and let us uh, let our ship just go to work on it. You can see it's already firing its guns on it. So this, this ship isn't going to last long. It might jump out, so we're gonna kill its jump drive. And we should be good. Now let's just enjoy the first capital ship battle I've given you. Uh, I'm not a nice person. Well, now I've eaten, so I should be a bit nicer than I usually am. It's really night, uh, late in the evening, I should get to bed soon, but we still have 10, 10 minutes left in the episode, so we'll survive somehow.
Let's speed up time, see how this goes. It seems oh, our ship is winning. I can't believe we pulled that off. We didn't do shit. It was our capital ship we, that did shit. We can't most of our ships. How many are with you? Not many. We need additional ships to search for survivors. Understood. Ships are on their way. God damn it. I hate casualties report. Reports. Sorry. Um, so, uh, to explain a bit about this system, it's Molten Archon. It's, uh, I th personally, I think it's the best system to expand in if you're playing vanilla. And that's simply because this uh, sector has ice. It has ice asteroids. And it's the only place, I think, in the Vries that has that. So, this is the only place where you will get a uh, an efficient... A food chain set up. So if you're playing vanilla, set up shop here. And there's a lot of space to expand. A lot of space. So um, I, I really like this sector. And if we check here, the ore uh, and silicon, it's insane. It's, uh, it's in the billions. Like, yeah, it's in the billions. Very high resource count. And I think uh, there's some other sectors here that offers Nividium as well. I'm not sure though. We're not going to leave the highway where it tells us because I have uh, I want to check the station and I have one more thing to uh, to show you in this sector that also makes it very valuable for uh, vanilla empire builders or, or modded empire builders. I actually usually place my bases here in this sector. I really like it. So let's see what they build. It seems like a water storage or something. Let's see what is it? What is it? Transmitting new it must be a water ships. storage. Yeah, you can see the sign here. That's water. So they're actually building a water manufacturing plant, which is smart, because, as I said, this is the only uh, sector in the uh, system with, with ice. That's mineable. Uh, so that's that's nice to see. They're being smart about it. Um, if I remember the scripts correctly, um, in the campaign this will not happen in free play, but in campaign, uh, Heart of Albion will also build a water plant here. Um, and that will be here in this area somewhere. No, it will be up here. It will be here. Here. This area. Now, this is the other thing I wanted to show you. It's the uh, jump gate to Omicron Lyrae, which is one of the best trading zones. Uh, you can make a lot of money in Omicron Lyrae. So having a jump gate this close to where you set up your main industry, it's very valuable. It's very uh, profitable. Now, let's get back to where we have to be, which is where, by the way? We can jump. Yeah, it's, it's jump here. We can jump. Charging at 10 percent, 20, 30. So we're nearing the end of the episode. Uh, I'm just gonna hear what uh, the people want me to do next, and we'll, um, we'll get to it. Entering. Go. So now, if we're lucky, the uh, Intergrave URV Forge should have started production. It has not. What is it uh, missing? It's missing all the base materials. So let's uh, contact our Onil Miner. Let's see how it does. You have all the base materials in your storage, but you're mining crystals for some reason. Why? We don't need crystals, do we? For what do we need crystals? For this? No. For this? No. Maybe it's one of the other things that this um, this module will produce because it produces uh, reinforced metal plating, bioptic wiring, and fusion reactors. I think. So um, yeah. Okay. So let's hear what people have to say. Let's talk.
But it's so nice to see the Kentarian Republic expand. I've never seen that before. It makes me, it really makes me happy. It makes me so happy. <laughs> I'm gonna sound like a crazy person, but it really makes me uh, giddy inside. I love it when space simulators actually simulate something that might conceivably happen. Mm -mm -mm. Love it. Okay, let's let's listen to this depressed person. Actually, let's check if we have. Uh, no, we don't. Yes, we do. We do have more money because we sold our not shielded in construction ship. So let's see if he has any. Yeah, he has an upgrade for us. So we can buy that. Thank you nice. for returning so promptly. This is a difficult time, and we have some urgent questions. We'll help in any way we can. Did you find any more survivors? None at all. Did your people know that Plutarch would send scouts into our space? We knew Plutarch was exploring the Vries. We only have limited information on their patrols. Could they have been tracking your mining ship? They seem to know exactly where to go. Maybe one of your people wanted us to be attacked and be dragged into your conflict. Borman is the one in charge, and he sure as hell didn't want you attacked. I'm sure they're looking into why your ships were put in danger. We're not trying to bring you into the war. We're looking to you for sanctuary. You may well get an ally in the war. After this incident, any Plutarch ships in our space will be warned and then attacked if they do not withdraw. How do you hope to enforce that? You have nothing close to that firepower. I was hoping our new friends, part of Albion, would help defend our space, especially now with their refugees in our care. So we can bring our refugees here? But you want us to militarize your space? For the short term, it would be mutually beneficial until we get our infrastructure to full strength. When our ship construction capabilities are fully restored, we will be able to defend ourselves against anything Plutarch can throw at us. Maybe we can send some forces, but we need most of them in Albion, keeping up pressure. We will make do. Please extend our offer to Captain Borman and give him my comms frequency, should he ever need to contact me directly. I will. Thank you, Nakano. And let's watch this little thing, and I think we'll call it an episode. Encyclopedia entry, system, defreeze, history and politics. Update. After the Plutarch Mining Corporation aggressively pushed through the debris system and attacked a mining operation, the Republic of Conterra has mobilized its forces and turned against the aggressor. Their borders are now closed to all but a select few Albion allies. Wonderful. I don't think anyone else has uh, anything else to say before I return to ship. So uh, we're going to end the episode here, folks. So thank you for watching and bye-bye. Uh, uh, Ready to go on your say, sir.